Welcome back everybody. My name is Dude Skills. You know me. I know you. We love each other. In today's video, we're going to be playing a game called Call of Cthulhu. Now, this series is all going to be live streamed on Twitch. So make sure you follow me down in the description below. I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central Standard Time. There's a bunch of ish in there because I have kids, I have a job, and I'm going to college. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump right on in. I've never played this game. I know nothing about it. It just looked cool. Somebody told me it was cool. I was like, okay. Ooh, the mi even the menu is cool. Main menu, dude skills. New game. Let's look at the settings first. Graphic settings. Uh, full screen on. Yes. Epic, 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 epic. Awesome. This is going to be fantastic. 3D rendering scale. Should we turn motion blur off? I feel like we should turn motion blur off. There we go. We're turning it off. Uh, I want to back without applying your modification. No. I want to apply them. Apply settings. Yes. Now, the game settings subtitles are on. Yes. I, that way, at least, even, I know that uh, it'll probably block off for you guys a little bit. But at least this way I can read it to you. And controls. Should we look at controls a little bit? Keyboard. WSD. Control is to crouch. Run is left shift. Ooh, crouch is left shift. Should I make that C? What is C used as? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make crouch be C. How about that? That seems better to me. Next light is wheel up. Previous light is mouse wheel down. Middle mouse button is our light. To shoot is left click. Uh, lean forward is the right mouse, right mouse button, and diary access is J. Uh, apply the settings. Yes. New game. Empty slot. Chapter one. Pierce Investigations Agency. Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his topor. Topor. Uh, Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Oh boy. Enter the madness. No, we're not skipping. Are you crazy? <clears throat> If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in the... Uh, okay, yep. Sorry. I didn't start reading it soon enough. Ooh, wow. Uh, ooh, ooh. There's like guts everywhere and we're waking up uh, basically in a pile of innards. A little great white action. Yeah, just, I take a nap here. Take two. Uh, at this point, I think I would drink more. Okay. All right, so that is quite the intro to, to this game. <laughs> Let's take a look around. We got some cool bloody, um, kind of like kelp. Nice lantern here. Could I take it? Nope, of course not. Why, why would it? Why would it let me? Cool atmosphere. Kind of looks like an oblivion dungeon with better graphics. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. What do you? Must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. Can I have a light? What I thought. That's what I thought. I bet there's something hidden down here. Uh, I'm gonna get off the dock now. I'd be lying if I said I didn't pee a little. Alright, uh, so we can't go this way, so we gotta go around and crouch again. I believe. I believe. <clears throat> there we go. Oh. Are we, are we just supposed to go this way? Okay. Is 
This that 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 doesn't make any sense. The the locations on those are all wacky. Apparently I'm supposed to go down here. I thought this was a side area. Man, that that music is crazy, isn't it? Oh wait, I got bolt cutters. Let me have my bolt cutters. There we go. I had to put the light away so I can cut the... I'm figuring it out. Was not ready for that. Father, is that you? <laughs> Ooh, can I pick this thing up? That'd be cool. Carry that. Carry that thing around. Like, hello, anybody there? <laughs> what a putrid that is freaking me out every time. What a putrid offering, he says. Listen, I know I might be puny, but you're the one eating great white and leaving all their guts around. You don't even finish your food. Oh, he got an orca. He got an orca. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I'm running now. Ooh, game saved. Behold. Oh, shit, no. Everything has already been written. You will attempt to change your destiny. Oh, sh <clears throat> Oh, dang. Oh, where's the hole in him? Yeah, his clothes were fine. Oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Holy sh yeah, I'd, I'd drink too. <laughs> I would drink a lot. Okay. Journal. Let's note that down. <clears throat> Going to shoot self later. Really f***ing bad nightmare. Check. Journal note. It says the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. See? Told you. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? I have a clue. Alrighty, so we've got a question mark here. What's it saying we need to do? Oh, sanity. Ooh, uh, so sanity uh, says... Uh, confident in your abilities and your uh, Cartesian mind, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your uh, prescription of reality. Or pr prescription. Perception. Wowie. Uh, your conclusions are, are logic and reliable. Wow. If you guys didn't know that I can't read, now you do. Um... Edward Pierce is a veteran of the first... Okay. All right. So we read that earlier. Um, is this something that we need to do now? Where does it say how much CP I have? Because it says... Oh, I have zero available. Okay. That's what it was doing. Okay. Places. <clears throat> My private detective agency con uh, contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War... I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. <laughs> Ooh, lost battalion. Wow. 
That's a cool lighter. It says, my old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men on the last, last battalion who fell. Alright, so let's have a gander around. Should we take a drink after that? Yeah, I feel like after that nightmare, we're drinking. Oh, this will affect your destiny. That's cool. Listen, I just had a really bad nightmare. Uh, I'm drinking. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Wait, am... Pause. Am I Liam Neeson? Because that sounded like Liam Neeson. I really hope I'm Liam Neeson. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me uh, didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Nice. Oh, that's not E. There's E. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Hmm. Let's turn that off so I can hear myself think. What Married is woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Oof. Sorry, feller. Hang on, I'm reading. Dang it. I used to be an avid reader. I've come to the conclusion I'm not Liam Neeson, but I sadly am not him. It sounded like it for a minute. What do you want? I'm listening. Hello? Are you Edward Pierce? Private yep. investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? You're damn right. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Hello. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. Okay. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Hmm. Ooh, so I get to set my character up. Okay. <clears throat> so he's already got three of the five here. Uh, so investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing crime scene of an uh, or an object. Ooh, okay. So that's already at a like a forty percent. Uh, psychology. It says psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or an analysis of object spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects improving this skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects an undiscovered object will not appear in game eloquence uh, represents your ability to influence those who talk to those you talk to by power of speech blah 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 words are hard <clears throat> Improving this skill increases your chances of convincing and or manipulating during discussions. Cool. Strength. Strength represents your power to call on your physical power. Who would have, who would have thought? Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Okay. Medicine represents your medical knowledge improving this skill improves your chance of determining the dosage of a drug Ooh, that's a cool twist you got there uh m of making a diagnosis or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem and occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences improving this science or this skill Increases your chance of determining the use and origin of cult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. All right, so. Oh, man. I think uh, to start off with, I want to go spot hidden one. Occultism. Medicine. I've, I've, 
feel like I really need to do that to get that to three. That way, it's uh, it's there. Uh, let's bump everything up a little bit more and a little bit more medicine. There we go. I feel like that's the that's gonna be beneficial. That kind of spread for now. Uh, I do want more occultism, but I feel like medicine. Uh, I like the twist that they could have there. Like, oh, I might need to save my life. Oh, wrong dosage, you die. You know, something cool like that. So validate. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will still be up to date. Yeah, they better be. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. Too bad. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show Ooh. yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Oh, sh I'm coming. <laughs> Ooh, we got a silhouette. What you want, Dad? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold <clears throat> in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Rude. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Nope. Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. Apparently I do. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Burn. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Well, they're right. <laughs> Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know oh. of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Uh oh. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. Oh, I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. Ooh, I like where this the thing. plot is going. You have no proof. I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come. This from. game is gonna be awesome. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. Hmm. I'll look at your picture. This is going to be a cool That's story. All got. The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Could have just handed it to me. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins <clears throat> family. Rather thin. Is a shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out a part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. The police report. It says the fire started in the dining room. Claimed the whole family. Ooh. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist that Sarah Hawkins mentally uh, frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the uh, island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Let's get in our journal real quick. A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the cinder. He brought me the painting so I could examine it. A wealthy industrial industrials came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her f entire family. I must examine the documents. Yes. 
All right, let's look at this picture. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Ooh. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Hmm. All right, so my options are <clears throat> you shouldn't take this painting lightly. I read about her mental frailty in the police report. Something's not right with the story. Where did Sarah Hawkins live and f or find out about Warehouse 36? I am going to go with you shouldn't take this painting lightly. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to use this one, but I'm afraid it's going to be like uh, physical, like yelling. So the sender's label mentions warehouse 36. Okay, good. It's not. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. Cha-ching. Right. I'll, <clears throat> I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Let's see what it said about the uh, inhabitants. All right. All right, so we know about him. It says, a wealthy businessman, well-respected in the Boston area, Stephen Webster, came to see me in order that I investigate. Yeah, so we know about him. Here's the husband, Charles Hawkins. <clears throat> it says a ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local, local celebrity on Darkwater, the heir of his ship owner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. He had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. All right, here is the, um, the painter. Uh, Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe she was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances i seem to remember that she once said i paint what my dreams whisper to me hmm interesting 
Our Mayor Sir Charles uh, Hawkins years ago surprised high society col uh, columnists or colonists. A wealthy Boston heiress known for her party going chooses to follow a new husband and live in a recluse on the island of Darkwater. She disappears from the front pages of newspapers and nobody heard for, uh, more about her. Even her death and if I remained a secret, only her father, Stephen Webster, continues to seek the truth. Our clues are these and this. And uh, so I, this is what I was looking for. It says this painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it is linked to the death of his daughter. That is interesting. Uh, let's look here. So let's look at. Oh, we didn't read about Simon. A schoolboy only, son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. He died in the fire that claimed the whole family. Okay, so let's kind of look at the eye shape, haircut, and uh, silhouette of Simon here. Let's go back to that picture. Uh, yes, for the haircut and the ear. The silhouette, not so much. And on her, we really can't make out too much to make too many analogies there. If I had to guess, I would say that it is kind of a prediction of she saw the fire coming, she painted it, she sent it to her dad, she signed it right here. Interesting symbol, though. The father of Sarah Hawkins thinks it is linked to the death of his daughter. Okay. The occult. Ooh. Intuitive and visionary artists for some. Overpriced impost uh, imposter. For others, Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Nice. And our inventory. Case closed. Okay, so we have these. I don't know why. We can throw them in a the fire. Use for fuel, I guess. All right, so we got some really cool information. Man, that, that painting, though. That is eerie. I didn't even notice the, the, the child in the first time I saw I saw the woman. I didn't see the child. Hmm. Interesting. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. All right, anything else I need before I go? No, I'm not drinking anymore. Ooh. I should get rid of all this stuff. Okay. Fair enough. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. Mm. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Okay. 14th, okay, it says Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the um, romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still... Uh, still something the wall of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. It says no one know. No one know. No no. No one know. No no. No one know. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and uh i can't read it story of their small land off the coast of the massachusetts that's cool i like that uh, All the I have to do developer to took enough time to make that legible i just hope that i can find a boat able to take me to dark water oh we'll find one wait just in case 
There's nothing. No more evidence I can gather. All right, we're leaving for Darkwater, and this time I mean it. 